Hey everyone, I'm going to do an unboxing video today. I'm going to be unboxing the Apple Airport Extreme Wi-Fi router. So let's take a look at it. Here you see the box, the side panels. So let's go ahead and cut the seal here. Get all this plastic off. So basically what this router does is it's a dual band um, 802.11n Wi-Fi you know internet router so basically what that means is that it operates on two different um, spectrums it operates on the the standard 2.4 gigahertz spectrum but also on the 5 gigahertz spectrum which is used in um, newer model Macs such as the new IMAX which I have so basically what that offers you is a faster internet connection um, because the antennas can communicate a little bit faster but also what it does is it frees up space on the standard 2.4 gigahertz spectrum so if you have multiple devices connected to the internet at the same time such as you know a couple different laptops or, or desktops but also maybe phones and iPods and iPads it can kinda of get clogged up the signal doesn't move around as fast as it could and it kinda of just stalls out so basically what this allows is for you to operate on two separate bands of signal which is gonna leave more room open on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum then also allow you additional space on the 5 gigahertz spectrum as well as improved speed obviously so here we'll slide off this outer case here and then we're left with the internal box which of course houses the airport extreme so basically what we have here is a LED indicator light on the front we have the standard Apple logo on the top sorry for the uh, bad lighting here trying to get it as good as I can but it's not going too well then on the back we have uh, obviously power port USB mm, not sure what that is it looks like some Ethernet connections then I don't know what's that it looks like a uh, maybe a laptop lock so if someone doesn't steal it maybe then you got a kind of a rubber mat on the bottom here so it doesn't slide off your desk or your table so let's set that aside and then under that we have a little divider then it looks like we have a CD not exactly sure this looks like setup guide warranty um, looks like maybe a firmware or a drivers then we have the uh, power cord and here you have a adapter or a uh, um, the power brick or whatever and here's the uh, rest of the AC cord and that's it in the box so this new version of the airport extreme gives you a few neat features that I, I'd say put it above the competition and definitely above the latest model um, First, you're going to be able to get a dual band um, radio operating at 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz running simultaneously. Therefore, you don't have to select a band to operate on and only use that band. So basically what that's going to allow you to do is use your 5 gigahertz band with your newer model computers such as the newer IMAX and that's going to actually give you a five times faster connection Apple says over a standard 2.4 gigahertz band and also what that's going to allow you to do on the 2.4 gigahertz end is it's going to free up space and free up clutter from other uh, and leave more room for other devices such as your iPad your iPod your mobile phones and your older model computers so that's kind of a neat feature and then also this new version has an improved internal antenna which is said to give about two times the previous range um, 
that the outgoing model previously was offering. And um, of course, this is a um, this router is compatible with all versions of 802.11a. It's 802.11a, 802.11b, g, and n. So even if you have an older model device that you know was only operating on b or g, this will accommodate and um, allow you to use your internet for those devices also. But what's cool about the Airport Extreme is that it'll actually allow you to use it just as you would a Apple time capsule for instance whereas the time capsule is basically an Airport Extreme but with a hard drive built into it. But what you can do with this is you can plug in any external hard drive that has its own power source and you can actually network that hard drive to any computer or any device um, connected via this router. So essentially you can have, let's say, a two terabyte hard drive hooked up to this router that all of the computers in your household could share, just as you would for the time capsule, but at a much lower price. So you can get this uh, for about $170 whereas a two terabyte um, time capsule would run you about four uh, I think it's four ninety nine so five hundred dollars and then if you put a two terabyte hydro, uh, hard drive on top of this that's another hundred and twenty dollars so really you're only looking at about three hundred dollars you get two hundred dollars savings um, by using this as a time capsule rather than going with the all-in-one unit so that's a kind of a cool feature that I'm looking forward to this so that's pretty much it. We went and unboxed the Apple Airport Extreme Wireless 802.11n Wi-Fi router. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for more videos. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.